Good morning everyone. Welcome to Simon Tools. Today we're going to do a boat car. Honda CRV, the seven seater Australian most popular cars ever. 2013. And it's really good car. It's done 140,000 k, 140,000 kilometer and still going like rocket. Very perfectly car, okay? No wrong about it. And um, today we have to do just a little job, service the brakes, set up rear brake pads are gone. Only got two millimeter left and the front pads are looking still good. But when they step on the foot, you can hear the foot pad shaking and the front of the car is shaking. So very common in this car because the, uh, the disc it work. So that means it twists a little bit. Sometimes hot and cold and the rain water jump in here It's hot and cold and then they twist it. It's a uh, it's like a bit of metal breathing. So um, What we do today We're gonna order two front pads new one and rear one But we have to take the disc up the front ones to the shop to do machinery That's the only option to save money because the this is still thick the disc is still thick and uh, it's not that bad. It's only got about go down about one millimeter. It's not go down two millimeter, so we still can uh, take that one and uh, machine it, faces and uh, put it on the car for them and make them happy. The tire is still good. I will test drive and it was shaking and you will see two to one mil down. So we take the disc out like every other cars. Number 14, take the uh, brake caliber out and number 19 on the back, take up the uh, the brakes holder brackets and then two screw and it should come up itself very easy just get a hammer to, and sooner or later we have to face it down anyway so like every other car, very simple at the front wheel and try to do with a bit of shaking, see any uh, vibration or anything it is, so far it's good, no vibration so take it up and facing it If you got all your tools, will be handy. Number 19, holding that one. Done. Easy. If you're not holding it, it turned. It's very hard to get out the number 14 on this one, okay? When it loose, simple. That's it. You need some flat one. Flat, flat, see? To go in the gap here. So normally the brakes, this gap, very little. So you can't put any other one on, so some other car that got the metal rings around here and you can't even put no more spanner like this, so you have to buy a set of thin one. You go in there, make job easy for you. So remove this one out. So this is basic to everyone who can do at home. Replace the brake pads or the brakes, this is gone. Vibration when you step on the brake, you can feel on your foot. That's what it is, okay? Later, we spread it out later. On one side, clip, clip, and uh, make sure if you want to go down there and grab the pads, pack one of them with you to match them if it's right, right models and they give you the right one. Otherwise, a uh, little bit hard for them, but they still work out easy. So, number 19 here, one, two, and boom. See, try ourselves, good. And using my Pareto gun, Pareto gun do the job, see. This one. Okay. Take it out. You got it out, baby. That's it. And the diesel. Now we come back. We're gonna take this to the machine and come back. Our brand new pads and brand new dish home. We will take to the machine and we try to do our best but uh, no good news for some reason the disc will work a lot and then it's no good for put on the machine and I have no other choice to have to get the new one so better put a new one in I don't know why it works so much and it cannot be machine so I have to get a new one and I put them on for them okay new one brand banking new 
got a new one on and this one on there and this one everywhere somewhere will be there somewhere there somewhere there somewhere there now somewhere there now somewhere there no somewhere there no yes at least you can see the the hole for the line so go like that on on and so on all the way beautiful okay now press this one out and put the pack on and we are done first of us this one push it down if you can't push it down this one if you can't push it down you have to free it before you put it back on because this one's there you know in and out where the pad a worn out is in and out this one so be careful okay in and out this one where they bring the pads in so make sure it's loose it's tight nice nice and nice and loose okay Okay, number 19 holds on, bottom one on, and the top one is on. Now I have to open the, press this one back out again, like the old day school back in the day, who know? That's how we normally do the pad. Very simple. Same old school, same C, different smell, okay? Same C. Leave it up like that and put a bit of black here. Caliber, decreaser, wouldn't hurt the seal here. So clean the dust from the seal out a little bit and then press it out. So it will go down perfectly for you without any trouble. Don't come see Simon, see your mechanic, okay? So go down slowly, very light, and then spray firm. Make sure all the dust and sheet is coming out from the the master's the brake caliper, so they don't squeeze on the seal, and it never break the seal, and it save your life. So, I mean, save you, and it not break out the seals, and they last you longer. Don't let the water get into the caliber and they may cause rust that's up okay not your life your life is too good okay done see beautiful one last spray i feel like chicken tonight see it's like that it's nice and clean super shiny now good turn like that put the right pad on buddy all yours all yours, all yours, man. Your man, easy man. Okay, all yours, man. The pads. This one, always go inside here. Always the inner one, okay? Any other car, the same. Uh, you know, you give me right pad, man. I don't want to drive up there again for nothing, okay? So each side, each side they have this one. So make sure this one in the inner, okay? And this is the outer. Okay, good. Now the spring, the spring on each one. There must be a little hole there. See, if you buy Roy Models, so they never go wrong, buddy. So um, sometimes you have to listen and do what they are. Uh, the instruction what they tell you to do because uh, when they try to put on the machine and they cannot send it that means something wrong with the machine really badly so don't argue just buy a new one okay you know the reason why I got my club today because it's cold weather I don't want my hand cold and get uh, dried up too much chemical in my hands and uh, my hand get very hot and sore so I better use the clubs I don't have much money buy clubs, man. Cut too much. Only today, when it's cold weather, yes. When it's not cold, 
I free my hand out, man. So hand. But cold weather now. And uh, getting old, you know. Can't complain. Getting too old, man. <clears throat> too old, an idiot. <clears throat> oh, an idiot. Okay. Now we can put it back. Or if you want to go the other side, do the other side. And then do the back one. Once you replace the uh, new disc or machine new disc, doesn't matter how good your pad, throw it away. Gotta go with the new one, okay? So we do the other. So that's how basic you normally do, okay? We do that one and the other side the same. And the rear one, we don't really need to get the dishes because it's not that bad. So we just replace the rear pad and it should be done. Like that for you, okay? Okay, thanks for watching Simon Tools and this is a little bit of short videos about the Honda CRV, very popular and most problem to this car and uh, when you have a uh, feeling on the brakes, it's vibration so bring it for this machine and get a new pad or if they tell you that this it cannot be faced, better get a new one, okay? For your safety, always safety first. Thanks for watching Simon Tools, see ya!